Hey guys, Jib here and welcome back to another video. We're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 today because a lot of information about multiplayer did come out. Now there is an event going on in Warzone right now. It's PVE. You basically work with everybody else on the map to complete some challenges and that's how you're going to get the M13C, the new variant of the M13. It's not a new gun, same gun with a built-in attachment, but that's how you're going to get it. But let's go ahead and go over all the stuff Sledgehammer has actually released regarding Modern Warfare 3 and it really does look like they're just doing the opposite of everything Infinity War did. So starting right off the bat, they decided they didn't want to just bring back a couple of the Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps. They wanted them all. So all 16 launch maps from MW2 have been remade for MW3. One for one remakes. Like updated graphics, everything like that. And from the images we've seen, no doors but that has not been yet 100% confirmed or denied by Sledgehammer. But from what we've seen so far, there are no doors on these maps. And they are not pulled from the Warzone map. They are from the ground up, remade to look exactly the way they were back in the day. But in a modern engine with better lighting, better looks, everything overall. So we have that to look forward to. So that is a good thing right off the bat. To be clear, all the maps we've played before, if you've played MW2, not new currently there's allegedly new maps coming after the fact we're allegedly for mw3 going to get i think even 16 more remakes and possibly 12 new maps something like that there's a lot more to still come but we're going to be launching with at least a lot of good maps these are amazing maps compared to modern games but if we take these maps and compare to against like the games of that time they're mid but very good. We're happy with it. The modes that we're going to start off with when the game releases are TDM, Domination, Kill Confirmed, Hardpoint, and some others. Uh, most of the other modes will come out after the fact. Here's to hoping Kill Street Confirmed comes back. That would be amazing because that's been one of my favorite modes. Or Horde Point. Now that we got zombies in the uh, Outbreak on the Warzone map, I really hope we get Horde Point back. We're getting Ground War with three maps. Not the Ground War from MW2. Ground War from Modern Warfare 19. Big maps. So we're used to that. War mode from World War II is coming back with one map. And then for those of you who played Black Ops 2, the 3v3v3 multi-team, that's coming back as Cutthroat. When it comes to multiplayer gameplay itself, we're getting the classic minimap back. Back to old school. If you shoot with an unsuppressed weapon, you will appear on the radar. Map voting's coming back. We're going to do 150 health, so it's going to be like Black Ops 4, only because it allows for better tunings for those weapons and a broader scheme so you can actually have some variants and also to make the time to kill a little bit slower because it's way too fast right now just you blink and you're dead should help against maybe some shotguns and snipers we'll see the old school perk system is essentially coming back but it's going to be called gear but all perks will be active the moment you start the match none of this mono for 22 wait throughout the match to get it uh, the large map names so far are for ground war are resort, military base, industrial belt, and for the war mode, it is going to be launch facility. Now, the movement when it comes to the multiplayer, they are trying to speed everything up, and the best way I want to like compare this to would be more like Black Ops 3's movement system of fluidity minus the 3D movement. So, slide cancels coming back, reload cancels coming back. Thankfully, that is one of the worst decisions they've ever made. We will be faster mantling and mantle while sprinting so we're preserving the movement uh sound familiar uh we'll be able to fire immediately after sliding uh we will be able to ads and fire while sliding if you have the right perk slash gear option you'll have increased tax sprint dur uh, durations per weapon class also from my understanding tax sprint will rebuild up while you are sprinting in case you want to do it again there will be increased uh, strafe speeds and ADS movement. And the fact they're just speeding up all the gunplay. Like, for me, when it comes to Call of Duties, if you can almost instant ADS, depending on your perk slash attachment build in the game, usually those are my favorite CODs. So, seeing all these changes, that's good right off the bat. Uh, new option coming to MW3, which is supposedly called Tax Stance, but it's, I'm pretty sure we've kind of already seen this, like the shooting while sliding and stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've had that before, so it shouldn't be nothing new. Um, but you'll be able to go between ADS and hip fire, and then you can activate it via toggle. Uh, you can fire while in tax stance while sliding. The movement that you're seeing coming to Modern Warfare 3 will immediately be ported to Warzone. So they're clearly trying to save Warzone with this. 
And depending on the perk loadouts and how it's going back to old school, th this is going to be uh, game changing, essentially. It'll try to revert Warzone back to what it was in Warzone 1. So that is a very, very good thing. So it looks like they are trying to put a lot of effort into satisfying the community and their desires to have uh, in the multiplayer full force with this game versus infinity wards they put something out and they don't care what you think you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit type of mentality so they're, they're really trying to go with what we've been asking for which is a really good thing uh there is a steelbook edition that's coming out for the game it will be available at gamestop in the u.s and i think outside of the u.s it'll depend on whatever country you are so just check with your retailers if you care about that thing still um, and then when it comes to zombies, everybody thought we were going to go big, bad, and bold, but it's going to end up being what I, try I think I suggested at the beginning of the year that they should do. There's probably a stream out there that I archived that had it, but essentially they're going to mix DMZ and Outbreak together. So you're playing on the Warzone map and you'll have zombie locations while well, they escalate in difficulty and stuff like that. That is how that's going to exist. So for those of you who needed just something zombies, you'll get satisfied. But for those of you who want the Treyarch round based, sorry, you're not getting that. So zombies will be PVE only. Can't fight other players. Uh, you're going to be on the war zone map. Four player squads up to 24 players. So six teams essentially can be on the map unless you do a lot of partials. And your, your standard buy station, ammo, depots, wall buys, mystery boxes, pack a punch, things of that nature are coming back. Uh, Exfil with rewards, but for I think from what I'm seeing, the match is going to have a time limit and then you're forced to Exfil. It's not round based. It's not time or uh, you can't go infinitely. There's it's going to be within parameters. That's probably just because it's going to be kind of like set within that war zone match time frame where the server is looping. So. It will be in the Dark Aether storyline. So the storyline that Treyarch has had in Cold War, this is where it's going to take place. And supposedly it's going to have more information about the universe and like the storyline will continue on that. So that is the current multiplayer slash zombies overhaul. I think of right now, uh, little bits keep coming out here and there. Uh, what I'm looking for right now when it comes to mw3 is i want to know the kill streaks i want to know the perks i want to know if specialist is coming back i need the doors confirmed because that will change a massive massive problem if they do put doors in there it will not play the same but if they don't have doors we have a very good shot i want to know if weapon tunings come back i really hope it doesn't but because everything's bleeding over i'm assuming it is and i assume a lot of attachments and stuff are probably going to be used as well but this is a very good start. This is a lot of decent information that we're getting right now, and I'm very much hoping that we're only going to see more good stuff coming out. I need to know about prestiges, camo grinds, things of that nature, but this is a good start. Sledgehammer, you have piqued my interest. Before this reveal, you had my interest, saying you were essentially doing the opposite of Infinity Ward. Now you have piqued my interest. Am I hyped? No. Am I excited? No. I've learned my lesson over the years, but you have piqued my interest so i will be looking out to see what else you've got to do because it would be amazing if you go from modern warfare 22 the worst cod of all time and yes i am calling it the worst cod at this point to the best call of duty multiplayer of all time you'll get a double thumbs up from me and i really hope you do because mw3 was a banger back in the day and i know y'all did that multiplayer so that's what we have so far uh let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys later peace out